Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'll be showing you how you can sharpen a blurry or unfocused image. So to get started we're going to open up Photoshop. Here you can see I have an image of a tiger and it's quite out of focus and quite blurry. So what we're going to do in today's tutorial is try and bring back some of the detail and quality in this image. Now the first way that you can do this is take and du duplicate your layer by taking and dragging it down to the new layer icon and it will just make a copy right there on top. Then what we're going to do is go up to filter, then other, and then high pass. And you can take and drag around this slider to adjust the radius and I'm going to leave mine at somewhere around probably about five, um, somewhere between four and six um, around that area will usually work for most images but just play around with the slider until you get a pretty good result here and then click OK. So then what you're going to do is take the blending mode on that layer and change it from normal and it's a little bit off screen but I'm going down and I'm clicking on overlay and you can see that right here we have brought back quite a bit of the quality in this image. So if I turn off um, our layer that we just created you can see how it changes from the old to the new so you see that we can bring back quite a bit of the quality. Now it's never going to be the best as shooting a perfect image in the first place with um, the correct focus and not shaking or being blurry at all. But you can see that you can touch it up and at least make it better than it was. So I'm going to show you another method real quick and so I'm just going to turn off that layer and go back to the original and real quick I'm going to go up to filter and then I'm going to go to convert for smart filters and what this is going to do is it's going to bring up a little box and click OK and basically what this is going to do is whenever you add any filters now it's going to add them so that they can be turned off, deleted and adjusted rather than just applied um, and become non-adjustable so that you can actually um, change them later if you'd like rather than having them be permanent. So what we're going to do is go up to filter, then we're going to go to sharpen and then unsharp mask. And here you can see um, I'm just going to drag these sliders down to their beginning points so you can see what we have to work with. Make sure you have the preview checkbox uh, checked so that you can see what's happening while you're working. And what you're going to do is just take and I'm going to drag up the radius first and I had mine around somewhere around two uh, maybe 1.9 or so and I just took and as you drag the amount slider when you have preview checked you can start to see when you release it what it is actually doing and it's bringing in quite a bit of the quality and I just took and put mine all the way at the end there now um, for different images and different amounts of um, blurriness it might change uh, it probably will change um, so your settings will probably be different than mine but just play around with them um, and you should be able to get a pretty good effect and you can see um, you want to keep the radius fairly low because I'll just push it all the way up you can see that it really messes with it if you push it too far so I just kept mine around somewhere around 1.9 or 2 um, and I got a pretty good result so when I click OK um, you can see that it has applied that and you can see down here in the layers panel why I was talking about I'm going to filter and then convert for smart filters you can see that if you want to adjust this later you can just take and double click on that and you can adjust it as is rather than it being permanently on there so using smart filters can be very helpful um, the reason we didn't use that for the first one because uh, is because it was on its own layer so I just figured you can turn that on and off now you can even get a better um, result from this tutorial if you take and combine the unsharp mask uh, with the high pass layer um, and you can actually get a pretty good result. Uh, you can see here's what we have with the unsharp mask. Um, that was the before and the after. So you can see that both of these methods give you a pretty good result in bringing back some of the quality. Again you can't fix uh, a bad image but you can uh, enhance it in order to make it better. Um, so I hope you guys learned something in this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.